one thing about me, I'm too tall to be for sure. I'm probably the tallest one here, besides my man sitting over there. So it can't be for sure. I can't help but be seen. Amen? But if I'm going to be seen, I need to be seen for the right reason. Amen, somebody? Amen. See, a lot of folks want to be seen, but are you being seen for the right reason? And so I asked God, I said, Lord, what do I title this closing message? So I got two titles. Amen. The first one is, I want to talk about unity in the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And my subtitle is Rock Stat. <laughs> Go ahead, so. Okay. Yeah. 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 But I was having a conversation with my wife. I talk to my wife quite often. Amen. We pray together every day. Amen. 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 We declare and we decree things every day. Amen. 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 We don't do things for show or for formality. And let me tell you something. They talked about Jesus and they ain't never did nothing wrong. Amen. So folks don't talk about you no matter what. Amen. So one of the things that, that both of us don't have time to do, we don't have time to waste thinking about what somebody got to say. Amen. 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 Come on. I, I, I almost Amen. let myself get caught up with people today because I pulled this jacket out to wear. Amen. I always, I always prepare for service one or two days ahead of service. Amen. Amen. I don't, I don't want to be late. Amen. 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 I, I don't want to be late because I don't want God to be late. Amen. 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 Somebody. Amen. It's amazing that you and I can be late, but when God seems like He's late, we got an attitude. Yes. 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 And he's beyond being on time. Yeah. Come on. Because he created time. Yeah. Come on, man. Watch this here. The Bible says he's the beginning and the end. I believe He's the first and the last. He is he that is and yet to come. Was and is yet to come. Oh my God. Watch this here. How can he ever be late when he says that I will never leave you? What's this here? He said I'll be first lady. He said I'll be a very present help. That's right. That's right. In a time of trouble. So watch this here. Many times when you and I are crying like it's trouble, if God ain't showing up, maybe it ain't trouble after all.
that a lying spirit I like to 
to disrupt the kingdom of darkness. That's all right. Amen. 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 So we're just going to take a moment, amen, to acknowledge some great men and women of God in this house today. Amen. Amen. Where's Pastor Mark and his lovely wife? Amen. Amen.
my Jesus First Exhortation Outreach Miracle Center Restoration As he continues to go, but as he continues to go, 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 as
seem to go, uh -huh. the thing is kept. Yes. And, and so when you walk by faith, yes. it's impossible for you to fail. My God. Amen. 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 For faith without works are dead. Yes. And works without faith are dead. Yes. Amen. Amen. I look at this here great cloud of witnesses that are here on this afternoon. Let me tell you something. Look at somebody tell me, it ain't about you. It ain't about you. Tell me it's about Jesus. It's about Jesus. So, y'all get rock steady somewhere in the midst of my message. Y'all get it. Y'all gonna get it. I ain't gonna tell you either. If you're, if you're listening, you gonna get it. Amen. Amen. I'm beginning at verse one. I'm reading out the Amplified Bible. Amen. It says, so I, the prisoner for the Lord. Yeah. Amen. What I found out that in the body of Christ, nobody wants to be a captive to Christ. Yeah. Very few want to be a captive to Christ. My Lord. Husband, wife, children, parents, grandparents. They'll hold you in bondage. Job will hold you in bondage. Mm -hmm. But you won't be a captive to Christ. He said, I, the prisoner for the Lord, appeal to you. Watch this here. I want you to catch this today. Many of you probably read it before. But let it sink into that. He said, I appeal to you to live a life. Right? Somebody say life. Life. Worthy of the calling to which you have been called. Come on. Amen. But watch this here. The Bible clearly states that many are called. Yeah. So look at somebody tell them, say, did you get a call? Did you get a call? How many ever been expecting something? Amen. And they said, I'm going to call first. Uh -huh. That's right. Let me talk to this side. Uh -huh. How many ever been expecting something? Uh -huh. yeah. And they said, I'm going to call first. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. See, see, many are called, uh -huh. yeah. but few are chosen. Uh -huh. Why only a few chosen? Because many don't answer the call. Yeah. Right. Right. They don't recognize the number. Everybody in here has been called yes. to do a job. Yes. Yes. I'm going to point it out to you in just a minute. Yeah. Everybody, look at somebody and say, that means you. That means you. See, it ain't only up to the apostles and the prophets. Amen. The evangelists, the pastors, and their teachers. Uh, Amen. Amen. We're going to get there in a minute. He says, I build you live a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called. That is to live a life that exhibits godly character. Amen. Moral courage. Yes. And personal integrity Thank you. and maturity. Yeah. A behavior, right? A life. Now, watch this here. Some of y'all gonna get upset with me on this. A life that expresses gratitude towards God. Thank you. Wow. you Thank you. When was the last time you act like you was grateful that God saved you? Amen. Amen. Amen.
But even every night when I was praising God, I'm praising God for the victory that is to come. There will be instruments in here again. Amen, amen. There will be a sound system in here again. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It shall come to pass. Yeah. It Jesus. shall come to pass. Yeah. 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 I agree. We were riding here today. Matter of fact, I had to drop my truck off this morning to get new tires. Right? And it was, it wasn't even 8 o'clock yet. No, a little bit after 8. And they had rap music blasting, windows down, blasting. I said, why is it? Come on now. That the world, uh -huh. right, can blast that stuff. Uh -huh. Come on, come on. Uh -huh. come on. But there's a problem. Yeah. When we want to expound on the word of God, when we want to amplify the word of God. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. God is about to change. Yeah. Yeah. I believe it. Anybody believe with me? Yeah. Yeah. Watch this here. Watch this here. So as I stood there, every night, I begin, I, I ask God, Lord, amplify my voice to such a degree that it would be an annoyance. Yes, I, I'd say an annoyance. Right? Because spiritual things annoy carnal people. Spiritual things annoy carnal people. Yes. 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 If you're trying to be saved on your job, uh -huh. and you're trying to live a godly life, yes. and you start talking about the things of God, mm -hmm. it becomes annoying. Yes. We don't know that when carnal people come and talk to you, they cuss. Yes. Yes. They speak to you in order to like, this is the language that you speak. Yeah. 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 God has called us to a place of unity in the spirit. Yeah. If we're going to get anything done, it ain't going to get done naturally. Amen. Yeah. It's going to get done in the spirit. Yeah. Yes. That's why Thank Jesus you. told me, he said, I, behold, I give you the keys uh -huh. of the kingdom. He said, whatever you buy on earth, uh -huh. is back. Yes. Oh God. Whatever you lose on earth, right. is lose. Right. Not shall be. You got the courage, the faith, the tenacity to believe yeah. God will manifest. Yeah. Yes. I, ain't talking, I ain't talking about name and claim it. This is another thing. Since the Timothy God spoke to me, let me tell you what he said to me. He said, you know what the problem with many people that go to church? Don't, don't take offense. We're hearing in the spirit. Pastor Lee, you know what he said? Many people picking up the word, mother, but they don't want to carry a cross. Amen. So they picking up the word. Isn't that, isn't that what we see what's going on? You got more. Bible toters, yeah. electronic toters, yeah. scripture quoters. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but what did Jesus say? If any man will come after me, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. right? Yeah. This is the Bible said. I can write it. Yeah. He said, if any man will come after me, yeah. not after a man, a woman, a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Uh -huh. He said, if any man will come after me, Pastor Mark, uh -huh. let him first, first uh -huh. deny himself. That's what he said. And pick up his Bible and follow. He said, pick up the cross. Right. He said, pick up no Bible. Yes. I invited a young lady to my church. A while ago. I asked her, did she have a Bible? She said, no. I said, you know what? I'm going to bless you with a Bible. Right? Bless you with a nice Bible, right? Yes. And so I said to her when I would see her periodically, you know, watch this here. She said, no, I ain't never been that nice for me before. I said, well, somebody doing something nice for you right now. I'm going to bless you with a Bible. She came that Sunday, bless you with a Bible. Right? I would see her periodically. Right? No, I asked you reading your Bible? You know what you told me? No. See, it ain't nothing for you to carry the word, but can you carry the cross? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. Come on. See, carrying the cross is going to be weighty. Yes. It's going to be heavy. It's going to be uncomfortable. Yes. See, one. It's going to be humiliating. Yes. Crucifixion yes. will be 
himself yeah. Yeah. unto death, even the death of the cross. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's just it. And that whole word humble, when you begin to define it, there's a word in it called humiliation. Come on, yeah. God. Yeah. Yes. Yes. See, if I'm gonna be a real believer, yes. I got to be willing to suffer. Yes. 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 See, you watch most believers. Most believers will retaliate. Yes. We heard the Apostle Paul told us today. No, don't, don't retaliate. We heard the Apostle Messiah. He talked about it today. Uh -huh. Not, not strike. See, it's easy for me to say, nigga, who you think you're talking to? Well, go ahead and preach out. Yeah. You better get up out my face. Yeah. It's easy. Yeah. Yeah. But am I willing to be humiliated? Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. You mean to tell me being a Christian means I got, I got to take it? Yes. 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 Did, did Jesus take it? Didn't he take it? Oh, yeah. Twister, didn't Jesus take it? Yes, he yeah. took it. Who's our example? See, see, we keep watching men, uh -huh. brother Jim, like us, uh -huh. that have human frailties, right. yeah. that fall short. Yeah. Yeah. That every now and then, you caught me on a bad day. Yeah. Yeah. So anybody ever been caught on a bad day? Yeah. yeah. So things yeah. came out that shouldn't came out? Yeah. yeah. He said, you got to express a life of gratitude to God for your salvation. Uh -huh. With all humility, forsaking self-righteousness yeah, and gentleness, maintaining self-control. Yes. Yes. This is the Amplified Version. This ain't no commentary. Oh my God. This is Amplified Bible. Amen? It says maintaining self-control with Right? Now watch this here. It's amazing how Paul talks about this, but in Galatians he talks about the fruit of the Spirit, but in Ephesus he's talking about the fruit of the Spirit, he's just presenting it in a different way. Yeah, right? Yeah. Because what is self-control? Temperance. Right? Yeah. And when he said patience, right? Yeah. He says, bearing with one another. Mm -hmm. Don't that sound like unity? Yeah. yeah. Bearing with one another. Yeah. Right? Yeah. How many married people I got in here today? Let me see the hands of married folk. Right? Bearing with one another. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Why is it? That means that you put up with. My God. Anybody putting up with some stuff yeah. in your relationship? Yeah. Well, anybody putting up with some stuff in your relationship? Yeah.
Yes. So individually, so what is it? Our walk starts out personal. Yes. Yes, it's so. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah. What God tells us that guess what? I must work out my own soul right. salvation. Come on. With fear and yeah. Come on. So when I work me out, uh -huh. what is it? What is it? I'm gonna get all y'all in shape real quick. I'm gonna get all y'all in shape. Right? Y'all tell me how y'all feel that I do. I'm gonna go to the gym, Jim. And I'm gonna work out. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm going to work out for all of y'all. Y'all tell me y'all feel better about that. You can't work out for me. Y'all feel that? Don't you like feel that? So the rest of y'all all out of shape. Yes, I know. Oh, y'all didn't get it. I know. You individually got to work out for yourself. Come on. I know it's And when we work out individually, when we come together collectively, the Bible declares that one shall send a thousand demons to flight. Go ahead. But two of us ten thousand. Go ahead and preach. What will happen if this same room was filled with a body of believers? That our minds were made up, that we were so determined, that guess what would not move us off that sweat, and would not be turned, would not make us take that. If we were so determined, I'm determined I ain't going to talk about you. I'm determined I ain't going to back right on you. I'm determined I ain't going to gossip about you. I'm determined I ain't going to let nobody else talk about you. Imagine if we got some type of determination. Yeah. 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 I think it was Apostle Bruce Lester. He talked about the other night. He said, you got a problem, go take them to the person you got the problem. Yeah. That's, right. That's, right. That's, right. That's what he said. I preached a message many, many years ago. It says, let's we bite and devour. I, the title of the message was Cannibal Christians. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible says, let's we bite and devour one another. Yeah. Yeah. Apostle said it today. I go to the mosque every Thursday. Yeah. Have a meeting. I'm meeting them at the mass shed on 47 Wallace every Thursday. We're doing business today. Amen? Amen. And let Amen. me tell you something. They got their watches time for prayer. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm telling you? That's yeah. right. Their watches is time. We be in a meeting. Their watches start going off. Yeah. With an Egyptian sound. Right. Arabic sound. Oh. They call for prayer in the, in the, in the mosque. Yes. Yeah. They talking about each other. They ain't telling each other that. They ain't backbiting. Come on. They ain't looking sideways at each other. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's so funny? You still gotta look at sideways. You still the same person. You gotta look at you. Where you going, friend? One Lord, one faith, one baptism. 
One God and Father of us all who is sovereign. Come on, how many know what that word sovereign is? That word sovereign, for those of you that don't know, means that God can do what he wants, when he wants, when he gets good and ready. And watch this here. He don't dial your number to ask you if it's all right for him to do it. Watch this here. He don't dial your number to say it's all right for me to do it. What you ask me for is the right. Is it right for me to put what you ask for or hold? Is it right for me to say no to what you ask for? He don't call and ask you that. He just does it because he's God. He's God all by himself. He's a sovereign God. Watch this here. I love him so much because he knows my end from my beginning. He knew me before I was born in my mother's womb. That's what. I love him so much because guess what? He told me, he said, you know what? I've got a hope and a future for you. Yeah. I want to bring you to an extent. Go ahead. This is what blows my mind. That's it. That's, that's Look at somebody say, right now was so good. Right, right now was so good. Why would your ladder have to be back? Why would your ladder have to be back? That's the Bible says. It said your ladder. Yeah. Why would your ladder have to be great? Yeah. Because guess what? For some of us, this our preparation. Good. My God. Oh, oh, you be prepared. You be prepared. For your back. For your back. So you might think you're ready. You might think you're ready. You ready yet. Yeah. Yeah. Don't have enough 
the truth. Yes. Not something. Yes. Anything. Yes. Yes. What you want to believe God for? My God. Yes. He said, if you touch it and agree and believe, I'll manifest. Yes. Watch this here, verse 7. He said, yet God's, yet grace, God's undeserved. How many know you live on undeserved faith? Amen. Yes. yes. Well, how many know you live on undeserved faith? Yes. How many know for real, for real, that's a thing that you've done that we were in the Old Testament? Yes. I started off talking to you about gratitude. Yes. See, gratitude makes you look at yourself every day and do a self evaluation. Yes. 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 Tell yourself, oh, you need to work on this. Yes. 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 It's amazing that if you're having a bad hair day, you can talk to yourself, oh, this ain't, this ain't gonna work. Yes. Yes. If you're having a bad nail day, oh. and then this ain't gonna work. The eyelash, the makeup, the mascara, it ain't gonna work. No. You're not enough, but have you ever told yourself? I see your heart. 
That's why I told you the more you die, the more you're going to live. I'm going to make you live. I'm going to make you live. When you count yourself less and make me more, the more you make me, the more I'll become. Watch this here. See, I was here. I ain't bragging about how many. I don't remember how many nights I was here. I was here when I could be here. Amen. But the powerful thing was this. The powerful thing was this. She came in with that cane that night, and she walked out of here without it. Yeah. And watch this here, and used it every since. Yeah. 